Welcome to the video on long-term sales forecasting by zero to 10. My name is Bill Kinahan and I'll be walking you through the solution today. The long-term sales forecasting solution is comprised of various areas. You have your budget, which is your original plan dollars. You have your forecast, which is updates by the sales teams to the numbers that were originally set. And you also have your actuals. Your actuals could be the final purchases by the customer that exist within CRM, or they could be purchases that may flow from an ERP system that is integrated into CRM. The solution in the system allows you to track, as I mentioned, the budget, the forecast, and actuals. It also comprises some views within the system that give you some visuals as well. The visuals allow you to track things like product lines, sales teams, as well as individual customer forecasts. And you have the ability to roll up your forecast to customer contracts or key programs that you may be running. The actual sales forecast record is comprised of a few different fields. It allows you to input your budget records. It keeps it separate from your forecast records as well, so you can keep them individual. You can track by product, you can track by period, as well as track by volume and pricing. As I mentioned before, you also have the ability to attach this forecast to a contract or a program in CRM. The solution also is comprised of a few different charts. The charts are visuals that depict the views in the background. The revenue by product record type chart allows you to evaluate how you're tracking on your performance for each product within your forecast. The revenue by fiscal period allows you to evaluate how you're tracking your forecast via the fiscal period. And the third chart allows you to also look at fiscal period, but more geared towards revenue trending across various quarters or periods. The long-term sales forecasting also comes with a couple workflows. The first workflow updates the name field on the sales forecast record with fiscal year, fiscal period, quantity, and price per unit. The second workflow updates the record type field the budget for a budget record and forecast for a forecast record to make it simpler to view and quickly identify what type of forecast record it is. There is also a long-term sales forecasting dashboard. This dashboard is comprised of the previous charts we looked at. You also can drill down within these charts and look at the data that exists behind them. Let's take a look at the sales forecast dashboard. As you'll notice, these are the three charts that we took a look at while we were in the PowerPoint presentation. So the first chart is the revenue trending by fiscal period. You can see the different trending across the four different quarters in this case with the different dollar amounts for forecast, budget, as well as actuals. If I just scroll down, you'll see our other two charts, the revenue by product and record type, as well as the revenue by fiscal period and record type. So you can see our budget, forecast, and actuals are captured, again, with the dollar figures outlined on the left-hand side. Now, if we scroll back up, we can actually look at the data that's made up in the back of this chart. If I just click on the box, you'll see the data come up that is in regards to that chart we were just on. You'll see a visual representation on the right hand side of the data on the left. I also have visibility into the charts by just clicking down on the system charts and again I can go look at any of this information. If we want to go in and look at an account record I'm just going to click on the 3M corporate headquarters account. Now you can see we're on the 3M corporate headquarters account. If I scroll down, you'll notice that we can see our forecast charts. Okay, our single chart is available there along with the others if I wanted to select one of those. As well as the data that makes up that chart is available below to us. So all of this information is available directly on the specific account. Now let's go in and take a look at this information and maybe I want to export this data out to Excel. I can go in, export to Excel, 
click on open in Excel online and it's going to grab this information and push it out into Excel online. Now from within Excel online I have the ability to change some of this information and then load it back into CRM. So you can see our first line item here is a budget record type of oven systems. Maybe we want to change that quantity instead of being 2000 I'm going to change it to be 1000. Okay. I'm then going to save these changes back to CRM. And as you notice, it's going to say the data has been submitted to import. You can go in and look at the import within the data management tools within CRM if you have the appropriate access. We'll close that. We're now looking at the CRM record. And if I just hit refresh on the record, you'll notice the quantity has been updated to 1,000. So any of these data points you can actually manipulate out in Excel online and then pull them back into CRM with the appropriate changes. Thank you for taking the time to view the video on long-term sales forecasting from 0 to 10. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to your account manager. Thank you.